According to James McGregor Burns, transformational leadership is a process where leaders and their followers raise one another to higher levels of morality and motivation. We asked leaders in development to discuss transformational leadership and share some examples that they have seen. Actually, this is someone who I've been working with comes to mind. Um, her name is Lydia Alpizar uh, Duran. She is um, a former executive director of AWID um, Association for Women in Development. It's a network uh, membership-based uh, global organization focusing on movement building and promoting women's rights. Um, Lydia just recently stepped down after almost 10 years as an executive uh, director and I'm on the board of AWID. So I had an opportunity to work with her uh, rather closely in the last year or so. And to me, she really exemplifies a uh, transformational leader. Um, I think she, oh, for example, recently um, she encouraged and co-led a process of shared leadership. So after she stepped down, um, AWID has been involved in a process of um, creating a shared leadership model. Um, and through this process, uh, there were two directors now in place of Lydia. So to me, it was very uh, impressive that she a, is, um, was able to decide that this is time to go and also just make that decision that this was time to give space to other younger leaders and focus on what it means for a feminist organization to create a co-leadership uh, co model. Um, Lydia is also someone who is really committed to certain, she has very strong personal values and she's very honest about it and always communicates and always asks difficult questions um, when we're in a process so that there is that trust, environment of trust. Um, and uh, based on what I heard from staff, they really, really admire her leadership. An example of transformational leadership, in my view, is the establishment of the Institute for Urban Indigenous Health. Uh, Aboriginal medical services in Australia were developed in the early 1970s and the evolution of community controlled models of Aboriginal health over a 40 year period saw about 150, 160 of these organisations set up around the country. In recent years some have been plagued by allegations of mismanagement, uh, growth in services beyond capacity, and, and a range of other challenges. In 2008, when the Close the Gap funding was announced and some very significant opportunities presented themselves in Aboriginal health, but some fairly major threats as well, um, I, I saw the vision of a young Indigenous leader to take that opportunity and do something transformational. And I saw the, uh, the, the role that he played in supporting the establishment of a regional model across across southeast Queensland, that uh, has seen you know service improvements just absolutely transform Indigenous outcomes, you know where there was a an active client base of eight thousand five years ago, nearly thirty thousand today, where the number of health checks being done each year has grown by more than a thousand percent, where specialist services have been implemented, where uh, a range of allied health services have been implemented, where student placements are an ongoing feature of the model and, and now a research collaboration with the university. So it, it, it has absolutely transformed a model of service delivery that is yielding real outcomes in Aboriginal health. So let me tell you how I actually see transformational leadership. For me, it is a journey from I can do it, to we can do it, to you can do it. But unfortunately, most of us grow up thinking that if you want to get things done right, do it yourself. And we are not very good with, you know, working with others in this very sense. And there was this one specific 
incident in my life that changed this for me. So back in 2010, I had a horrible, horrible road accident and I was hospitalized for three months. And there was a team of doctors that, you know, I'm very thankful to them to, since this day, till this day, because they, they made sure that I lived to give this interview. After, a, after, a, after some time, I realized that, you know, I was trusting these doctors with my life, whereas I find it very difficult to trust my colleagues with some of the tasks that we have in our office, you know, or in other areas of my life. And this really changed my thinking. This, this very incident really, really changed my thinking. To me, transformational leadership is not a big leap or, a, you know, it is, it is not something really big. It is, it is about the mindset and it is about the small steps that we take. For instance, if you can foster a culture of thinking in your organization, make sure that you know everyone in a month or in a quarter talks about their goals, the organizational goals, the organizational vision. So we are naturally not very good at thinking. I, I believe that you have to stimulate an environment or foster a culture where people think. Similarly, you know what you can do is uh, stimulate a culture where people are comfortable talking to each other. So how I do it, listen to people what they have to see, acknowledge their feelings, share your feelings with them, work with them as in opposed to against them, and then influence them to you know, change their behavior if that is what you want. So yeah, transformational leadership is all about making these small changes you know, where everyone can become their best selves and may be able to lead themselves.